So, everybody out there, anybody who um, plays PS3, any Sony fans, I need your help. This is Tristan from Tristan's Man Cave. He's allergic to playing good games. Um, <laughs> Uncharted came out, I couldn't get him to play Uncharted, Uncharted 2, Uncharted 3. He won't play The Last of Us, he's scared. Uh, Heavy Rain, that came out, I'm trying to get this man saying, you need to experience this. God of War 3, he won't play it for some reason. Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3. Fallout, dude won't play it. Shots fired, <clears throat> bang bang. I mean, so I just, I just really, um, I need some kind of help convincing him. Oh, for when Infamous came out, I bought him Infamous for his birthday, and you know what he did? He sold it. He sold <laughs> Infamous for like Man in Ten or something like that. I, I don't even know some old game, and. I'm just like, no, that, that came out on now, so you probably got like Man No Seven or something. No. So he does oh this. So he says, I want to get a new game. I really, I really want something fun to play. I'm like, you know, they got Uncharted. They got all of them um, on sale on PlayStation Network. So he's like, okay. So uh, like the next week, he tells me he got a new game. He tells me he has a new game. I'm like, what do you get? Just Cause 2? I'm like, Just Cause 2? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm going to give it a chance. I couldn't make it through five minutes of, of Just Cause 2. And no disrespect to the people who made that game, but, you know, that there's a difference in quality in games. So <clears throat> he's playing Just Cause 2, and uh, what, was, what was that game with the knights and the armor and all that? Dragon um, Age. Dragon Age, man. That was so, a good game, by the way. It wasn't as good as those games. But in my defense, in my defense, I just want to say that I tried and tried it. It wasn't my cup of tea. But uh, I'm not saying it's not a good game. Not infamous. It was good, but I just couldn't get into it. It was too long. It was fun, though. Too I will admit long. that. But see, I'm more of a free roam type game. Like Arkham City, Arkham Asylum. Those okay, were fun. okay. I will give, yeah. I'll give him. He played Arkham City and GTA 4. I'll say those are two good games that he has played. But besides that, I mean, it, it, it's bad. He plays... Uh, Red Dead Redemption? No, no. He plays um, All Pro 2K8. That's oh. like his favorite game. You were just Finish. playing that before wow. we started this. In my defense, uh, I played 2013, 2013, In 2013, he's playing All Pro 2K8. That's I'm like GTA 5. Week. That's why, folks. GTA 5. You can't play something from at least 2011 and to I'm, 2012. I'm, I'm looking at, at the WWE 2K14, but it's not it's not true yet. I'm not, you know, sold on that game yet until I see what's going on first, but at the same time, we'll see how it goes, and I'm not done playing the chart, I'm still going to keep playing it. He's not, he's going to sell that too, that's why I wouldn't let him borrow mine, because I knew he was selling, I'm like, no, you got to buy your own, you got to sell them all, Charlie, so, am I wrong, just, I just need to know, am I crazy, or am I wrong, I can't, I feel he's allergic to playing games that get good score, uh, I don't, I don't get it, man, so, I don't know what else to tell him, man, he won't listen to me. Uh, he won't listen to me and the games that he buys he sells them all and then he's about like next to almost in tears because he's like man I want to play I'm like stop selling your game hold uh, okay, on to I haven't me. sold mine in a while because I kept I, I held on to Saints Row the third which was good it wasn't my favorite because it, yeah so he keeps the game he don't like but the no. he likes he said no. What game did you sell and you bought back? You started off with the game. Oh, okay. You started off with the game. <laughs> yeah. You played GameCube yeah. in like 2011. What? what? No. I had a PS3 in 2011. I had an Xbox actually. You had a PS3. I had an Xbox. I had an Xbox. Oh, Xbox 360. Nah, Xbox, I've been bro. up to date, okay? I'm, I'm sorry if I had a GameCube because back in the day, the PS2 was so hip and expensive. So I just got the GameCube. And no, I enjoyed fine. that I one. one too. Yeah, the game went hard. Right. Right. It, 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 it went hard, but at the game same game time, that they were limited because the discs were so tiny, so I could really play the, the best ones. But at the same time, I'm in the great games. Like I said, there's so many great games I'm looking forward to coming out. But Saints Row the Fourth, I'm not getting that one because that's just he, he will. Get no, that. I won't get it. It's he loves Saints Row. Bro. No, I that's told him not to get Saints Row Three. No, that was actually good. The game. You said you didn't like. Well, I didn't like the story, but the gameplay was pretty good. The gameplay was better than all the other ones, and I will admit that. So it was pretty epic. I guess. Um, so what, what was I gonna say? Uh, it's about GTA Five. Oh, you're not really sold on it, right? Yeah, I want to about GTA. So I actually I was thinking about this earlier. I have a long history with Rockstar. I, I never felt like I was a Rockstar fanboy, but I was like I played the mess out of GTA Three. I still have Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City Stories, GTA Four. And I played uh, Red Dead Redemption and um, uh, uh, L.A. Noir, which I know is Team Bondi or whatever. But but I'm like, okay, I played a lot, and that may be part of the reason why I feel GTA now. And I didn't I didn't really like GTA 4. I didn't enjoy it. 
uh, it felt more like a chore as I was going through. Like, man, and once a game feels like a chore to me, then I go ahead and stop because it kind of lost its purpose. But after I saw that gameplay trailer for GTA V, I, I think that kind of changed my mind and put me back on the ship. Uh, it looks like it's going to be an experience that will not be matched by anything else up until this point. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not going to say I'm sold yet. You know, he's going to, he already, he pre-ordered it like two years ago. So, <laughs> so I'll see how it is when he plays it. Six months ago. <laughs> I, I'm sure I will come around at some point. One of the things I don't like, uh, since I don't personally use profanity, I don't like when profanity feels like it's forced or used just senselessly. I like when it's used to make a point, that's fine, or used to emphasize something or it's a part of the actual story. But they have a lot of senseless profanity, but it's GTA. There's a lot of killing blood, hookers, all kinds of stuff. So, so who am I to sit here and complain about uh, the language that's used? But anyway, I think I'm back on the GTA, uh, maybe, bandwagon, maybe. We'll see. I don't know yet. It's going to be epic. I mean, I had to, when I get a game, I actually study it. I see how good it's going to be. With, with a game that I really love and look forward to, because I, I was one of the fans that was upset when they pushed it back, but then it was like, if they did all that to make it better, which they clearly did, I am so excited for it. I can't wait. I, you know, it should be worth the money. I mean, just the characters, the fact that it can be anything when it comes to the story. It can go back to San Andreas, which it pretty much is. It's in Los Santos, so it pretty much does have a San Andreas feel. And it can go either way. I mean, the story could be great, because let's look at it. When it comes to those three characters, they're all villains. So they could set up a story to where all of them can screw each other over somehow. Maybe you need to customize your own guy, you pick what kind of bank job you can do. I mean, there's so much unlimited. It just seems unlimited. And I love, I love that so much because I'm a big free roam fan. I don't like just doing one thing. I like just doing exploring and doing missions. So for all you guys who love free roam games just like I do, and not just games that you just have to play and just stay and then go and stay and go, I love those free roam games, and they're epic. So this game was pretty good. I mean, just the screenshots, everything is something to look forward to. It should be a treat. And this is nothing like all the other ones because the characters don't look stiff. GTA 4 was good, but after playing Sleeping Dogs, and that game was so so much to be overrated or whatever, I mean, in my opinion, it wasn't. So thanks to games like Sleeping Dogs and uh, what's the other ones? The Saints Rose, this gives GTA a chance to step their A game up and make GTA 5 better, which they already did. So this is something that I very much look forward to. I mean, everybody should be happy that's coming out. I can't wait. I mean, September's going to be a great month all around. You got football, mm. the Mayweather pack. I mean, the, the Mayweather, oh. <laughs> the Mayweather <laughs> fight. Yeah. I wish it was Pacquiao, but you got so much going on in September. The Sons of Anarchy season premiere, everything is going to be happening in September. Can't wait. Can't, can't wait. wait. Can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be a lot. So hopefully oh, yeah. my productivity will stay up here. I was just thinking about, I'm like, man, football coming up, uh, college and NFL. Uh, mm -hmm. Then the NBA will be coming like, a, what, a month, month and a half later. Oh, yeah. I'm like, man, I'm doing fantasy football. I'm like, shoot, I've been productive over the summer. I don't know. Wait, can't wait. Uh, and then all the games that you mentioned. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, back to my original, my original point. Uh, help me help him. Or let me know if I'm wrong, um, if, if it's okay to be allergic to playing good games. You know, if that if that's okay. But I just personally feel if you do have a PS3, you should really be able to enjoy the best that the system has to offer. Not playing games like The Incredibles and stuff like it's that. It's not even on the so, PS3. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so let me know. Please yeah. leave us some comments. Uh, you know, convince this man of some games. Or maybe some games that I should play that I haven't played yet. Um, you know, so we could just really enjoy the system, ride this thing out till we get to the next generation of the PS4 and everything that it has to offer. I'm an Xbox guy, but, uh, you know, I, I, I love Xbox Live, and I'm a loyal Xbox guy. You know, I started with the Xbox and upgraded to the 360. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, you know, ever since, oh. and, I, and, I the, and I played the Man. PS3, and I noticed that the that the network likes to crash a lot. And really? The, and that's you guys, the, that's the how do you guys get hacked? That, like, how does really? a, a, a multi-million dollar network that's get hacked? That's why I'm playing online. 
How did um, that happen? Oh, we're about to go back and forth about yeah. Xbox PS3 yeah. and the yeah. circle of death. Almost everybody I know that's had a, a 360 has had to buy like two or three. Uh, you know what I mean? You I, shouldn't, I've shouldn't I've have had to buy, Udo, Udo had to pay for the internet and all Udo kinds of things. Um, yeah, so mm-hmm. we're not even going to get into <laughs> yeah. all that. Yeah. I don't want to start a console war. Uh, I feel it's pointless. Yeah. You can't convince anybody one way or another. Xbox One, Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. all right, we'll see how that goes. So, anyway. Yes, please leave some comments. Let us know what we're missing out on. Let us know what we're wrong, uh, who's crazy. Uh, we appreciate you coming by again. This is Tristan's Man Cave. This is Mighty Joe W. Make sure you subscribe go by the channel. Subscribe. Jam 523. Um, uh, who? Jam 523. Jam 523. <laughs> I don't know if he has any videos yeah. or anything. I'm, I'm going to try to start uploading some. He'll start mm-hmm. uploading. Coming soon. Coming soon. Mm-hmm. Tristan will be back. He'll be giving you the wrestling videos and everything. So oh, yeah. I know the wrestling community is crazy, so this man gives it to you straight. Right. And me, I'll be bringing the music, the piano tutorials, the performances, and everything that you love so much. So thank you again for your support, and we will talk to you soon. Happy Labor Day. Peace out. Peace.